got this spring bursting out everywhere, there was just no stopping us. Poor Aunt Margaret didn't know quite what had hit her. She'd agreed to look after us while my parents were in India, but I think by this time she was regretting it. The sooner your parents get back from India, the better. Well, heaven only knows your mother's going to be disappointed in you when she does. Someone in there! Who? Well, I couldn't exactly say, but I think it's a boy. Well, whoever it is, you'd better get out, because we want to go in. Would you like to see a pheasant's nest? What, that one down there? I could show you half a dozen of them. Do you know lots of nests? Could you show us any more? I could show you well nine every nest in this here wood. Come on, let's go. Show us them all. Right. What's your name? Harry. Where do you live? At the cottage in the hollow, down Tanglewood's way. Have you got any brothers and sisters? No, it's only me and my mum. Where's your father? I ain't got none. Why don't we pick flowers and sell them, like Terry's mother does? Oh, Ruth, our Margaret would never allow it. She needn't know. We won't tell her. Didn't you read the notice? Yes, but I'm not a hawker. And I'm not a circular. If you are too young to understand the English language, then you are certainly too young to be doing this sort of thing. Go home to your mother. I've got a better place to watch the eggs from. It'll never hold you. Terry, be careful. All the way through that summer, we went to the woods nearly every day. Poor Terry had been taken away to a special hospital in the city where they were trying to make him better. So we probably didn't learn as much as we would have with him. But there were so many things to see.